All right, what up, guys? Uh, since uh, we got 200 subscribers recently, I figured I would uh, revisit the uh, Minecraft penis. So we're gonna change it up a little bit, uh, make it a little better. Um, and yeah, so let's get right into it. Um, we're gonna load up a super flat world here. All right, so we're uh, just gonna get rid of uh, some monsters. And let's get our materials here. So uh, just like last time, we're gonna get our uh, pink wool, actually our pink clay. And we're probably gonna go, let's go with the white terracotta. And for the head, we're gonna go probably with the magenta. So we'll try and make it about the same dimensions or so. Um, you know, just to try and keep it consistent. So we're going to go, I believe it was four, uh, actually five, uh, two, three, four, five, and then uh, six, I believe. So two, three, four, five, six. Get our rectangular testicles here. And we'll go three high. And we'll just do the same thing with the uh, one block space. Okay, so once you got your uh, two testicles made, uh, we're going to start working on the shaft. So we're going to go, uh, we're going to go one in on either one to get the outline started. And from the edge here, we're going to go, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We're going to go 17 uh, just because it's been about five years. So, you know, there is a little bit of growth involved. Um, so, yeah, we're going to just get that basic rectangle made here. Okay, so once you get the rectangle made, then we're going to go, we're going to start undercutting. So... We'll go one in and go the whole length on both sides. Okay, and we'll leave that middle open. Uh, we'll we'll close off the back here, and then we're gonna go. Let's see. Let's go. Uh, we'll fill that in actually. And then we're going to leave a space uh, right here. And actually, yeah. Like so. And then we're basically just going to copy that right up on top. So let's do that. Actually, I misspoke. We're going to, uh, we're going to build one up. Kind of block it off a little bit, and then the same thing on the other side. <clears throat> All right, actually, we'll leave a hole there, and uh, yeah, so now we can go in, in one, like so. And we'll just finish off the top here with uh, a single row. Like that. And we're actually going to extend uh, the front of this. Um, actually, no. We'll leave it like that. And we're going to go... We're going to start our head. So uh, we'll just kind of start there. We'll do a uh, one ring around, like so. And 
and then we'll go one row on top we're gonna go like so like that and then we're gonna come in like this and boom we got the head uh, we can give it a little more depth here just to make it a little more realistic um, yeah that'll that'll do it I think maybe um, instead of going down there we're just gonna replace that uh, with the magenta and we gotta go one more out and finish her off so that should be about it for that I believe um, see how that looks I like that we'll, we'll keep that um, okay now on to the upgraded portion uh, what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna add we're gonna find our carpet here and we're gonna look for magenta and then we're gonna go actually you know what let's do purple okay and we're gonna start here we're gonna come back a couple go up come back a couple couple four uh, we're gonna cut back down and we're gonna kinda go back and forth just a, a little bit at random but not uh, not too not too much Okay, and that basically what that gives us is the the main vein. So as you can see from the top, it doesn't really look like much from the uh, from the side, but as you can see from here, that's uh, that's what we got going. So now onto the next upgrade portion. So we're just gonna go towards the back here, and we're gonna hop up inside. Now. Before I basically had a dispenser being um, triggered via a, uh, a button, I believe. So what we're going to do now, instead of that, we're going to use uh, we're going to use redstone, uh, redstone repeaters, uh, redstone dust, and I believe we're going to need a torch as well. So we'll get that, uh, and then we're going to need our snowballs, obviously. should be good enough for now all right so uh, basically we're gonna want to uh, we're gonna have to break that for a second um, we're gonna place our dispenser facing out uh, we can put our blocks back in there uh, we're just gonna break up inside here quick okay um, and we'll get a torch going just for light purposes Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make this automatic. So basically, uh, our dispenser, once triggered uh, and full of uh, snowballs, is going to, <coughs> excuse me, is going to uh, automatically start ejaculating. So uh, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to make a basic, uh, a basic clock, or not a clock, but uh, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, an automatic uh, circuit here. So. Uh, we're going to start uh, back here. We're going to face our repeater this way. Uh, and then I believe we can go like this, like this. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, we can go like that. And basically, once we get our redstone connected, uh, we need to have a trail for the starter and then that will get going uh, automatically and then uh, we can power this actually we're gonna have to back up our circuit here um, so leave a three block gap so 
Uh, we'll place our first repeater here, 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 and here. Then we'll put our redstone dust around the corners. We'll have our trigger trail go into that block, which uh, I believe uh, should... I don't think we can turn corners like this. Oh, yeah, I guess we can. Okay. Uh, so we'll just do it like that. And then, like I said, we need a trail off to the side here uh, to start that. And then um, I believe once that's lit, we basically just need to quickly break and replace that redstone. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go outside. We're going to fill our, uh, our dispenser with uh, snowballs. All right, so we got her filled with snowballs, and this is the end result. So we got our timer going inside there, and uh, yeah, so we'll get a little cum shot of action going here. Oh yeah, check that out. So she's uh, she's jizzing away. Um, now, as far as you know, living quarters, this can be uh, pretty useful. Uh, you know, you can you can get your your doors going here. Um, we can, you know, furnish the inside with some beds. Uh, we'll get a nice white clean bed here. Um, and, it, you know, it, it does make it pretty cozy, uh, you know, as far as, as, like, a survival situation would go. Um, and, you know, it, it's pretty functional. Uh, it keeps people away. You know, it scares them off a little bit. They're, you know, they're going to basically think, okay, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? Why, is he, why does he have a penis as a house? And why is it ejaculating? Uh, looks like we actually ran out of cum, so a uh, little bit of a dry spell, but you know. Um, all right, so yeah, you can you can you know you can make a little bed there. I don't know why we have bats in here, but you know whatever. Um, something to keep you cozy because all your friends are basically going to leave you. Um, and we'll get some uh, torches again here, and you know we'll make her look nice. So um, you know get some torches. For a little light, uh, we'll get some glass panes. You know your your basics here. So we'll get our, our crafting table, our furnace, um, and we'll place these you know wherever wherever you'd like. Uh, you can also you know dig down, make a basement, um, but. Yeah, and then in, you can have a guest room on the other side, you know, same thing. Basically, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be as nice because they are a guest and fuck them. Um, if they don't get fucked by your penis first. Um, but yeah, so I think as far as this goes, that's uh, that's about it. Um, you know, if, if you think of uh, anything else that I should add, uh, you know, go ahead and leave a comment bo down below. Um, and uh, yeah so thanks again for the 200 subscribers guys uh, i really appreciate it i know i haven't really been uploading a whole lot but um you know it's it kind of keeps me motivated a little bit uh, even though you know, i haven't uploaded decently in in about oh boy i don't know five years or so um and then two months or so since the last video but so hopefully this brings back the channel a little bit. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. And uh, yeah. So. Alright. Thanks for watching guys.